Hello everybody, welcome back. I don't really have any updates going into this video, so we're just going to jump right back into it. I am here today mostly to work more on the display. The only thing I have really done since the last video is a bit of pre-planning and preparation. So I had a little bit of extra time one day, so I sort of just kept moving this way down the display. Started getting glassware and light kits removed from the next things to come down. And then I also planned ahead for the new stuff that will be going in throughout the these locations. So for this time there are a couple of things that I'm going for here. First and foremost I'm going with a bit more of a structured theme since my newer stuff is sitting over here. I'm gonna make this sort of middle section more of a 90s to 2000s theme and then continuing down this way it will transition into older products. There might be a little bit more mix of products down on this end just because it's a little bit more specific on what sizes I can fit where, but I really wanted to try to stick to something a little bit more structured specifically for this area. And then since this is such a large overhaul kind of all happening at once, I'm using this opportunity to specifically plan for some items that I've been wanting to get up. Some of them are things that I've tried to wedge in multiple times, but it's always something like they hang too low for the specific location I'm trying to use, or the blade span doesn't work, or it's a location that really needs a light kit, but I don't have a coordinating light kit. So instead of having an open open location and trying to find the right fan for it, I am specifically choosing fans and assigning them to locations out here that will work for them. So it's nice because there will definitely be some different stuff in the mix, some of the harder things to get implemented. So I think first thing I'm going to do is pull down the heirloom here. I'm not going to disassemble it, I'm just going to set it aside because it has been on my remake list and this is the ideal time to do that. And that will allow me to get my recently acquired airflow up in that location. This is what I've assigned to that spot. And it'll be nice to get this up out of the way, not sitting around anymore. So I'm going to get organized here, make a little bit of progress, and then I will check back in. Alright, so as you can see the airflow is completely done, and then I moved over here where I'm doing this Emerson Amphora. I didn't initially film anything here because I was playing around with downrod lengths. I didn't want to use the original 4-inch downrod because paired with these drop-down arms it would be just a little bit too low. This is one of those fans I was talking about that I've wanted to display again for quite some time, but I just couldn't ever make it work in the locations that I had available at the time I was making changes, so I'll be excited to have this one back for another run. I'm gonna go get blades installed and then probably move on to another location. Not exactly sure where I'm gonna head next, but I will be back back shortly. Amphora is done and I just got this craft made Omni up in this spot. I am still going to add a light kit to this. It is in one of my key kind of light kit locations, but I have long contemplated pulling my new inbox one of these out to display. Now I have this one that was previously used so I don't have to even bother with that. So I'm going to get the light kit on and then I decided that I kind of want to fill in these spots that were empty before taking anything else down. So we will move over to this location next. Alright, so I was struggling with a glassware selection for the Omni, so I came down and stole those Casablanca globes off this Delta II and paired them with it. In a lot of cases, I avoid using Casablanca glass on non-Casablanca products just out of principle, but I felt like this combination was too good not to make. The light kit is a little bit more traditional in styling and I can't help that, but this selection of glass helps skew it a little bit more contemporary, so actually even happier with how this one turned out than I expected to be. For the moment, I am actually going to cut this a little bit short. I have just the right amount of time to pivot to a couple of other little things around here that I have to get done. If I have time to pop back in, I may come back and try to get this last location filled, but otherwise I will see you back soon for more. Hello, I am checking in from the condo and I'm excited to show you that my butcher block countertops are in the process of being installed. So here is the first one in the laundry closet. My dad actually made the custom brackets to mount these and we weren't sure how exactly they were going to work out, if they would be stable enough on their own. So this one is actually pretty good. It just has a little bit of rock in the corner which we're going to secure with an angle bracket and then we'll be good to go. Very excited to actually have a surface to set things on in here 
here and then here in the kitchen. This one is in, but it still needs a little bit more work. Once again, we have the same custom brackets underneath, but my dad also made a custom angle bracket to secure in this wall. And there is just a little bit of gap over here and we weren't gonna get quite the secure connection to the butcher block that we were hoping for. So he's gonna make an improved bracket to just kind of alleviate the little bit of issue we have here with how this laid out. And then from there, I'm still kind of working out how I'm gonna finish this off on this side. I don't know if I'll just have my paint guys come back and kind of fill it in and texture it off to match, or if I'll do some sort of trim piece. I would like to not do trim if possible because I like how clean this looks overall, but if that ends up being the best solution, then I will go that way if I have to. Overall though, for not really having a clue what we were doing with this project the entire time, I think it came out pretty well. I guess we're not completely done yet, but the hardest parts are done, and it really did execute what I was wanting for this space. So I have had a set of stools kind of picked out for this area for quite some time, up to this point, I have not purchased them though because I wanted the countertop to be in place so that I could get the stools and test the height, make sure that they're gonna be good with this. So I will probably go ahead and get what I want ordered in the next couple of days and we'll be able to check that out pretty soon. So I am heading out the door to my parents' place right now. I may work some more on the display tonight, so I'm gonna bring my camera, but I also may not get to it. So I may see you over there, or if not, I will see you back again soon. All right, hello, I am here. Just gonna try to get a couple of things done at least. Only real update here is that I had a little bit of extra time yesterday, so I went through and pre-planned replacements for most of the rest of the core display. There may still be some things subject to change, but I feel really good having that planned out because it'll make things move a lot quicker. So we are just gonna return right where I left off to this location. We're gonna get this filled in, and I'm going to do this Regency marquee with these fun weird shaped blades that I have. I have always wanted to put more Regency on on the display but a lot of what I have is new in box and I don't love pulling out new in box stuff. I didn't even really think about it until right now that the Countess is right here next to it. Frankly, all of the perimeter stuff is like its own category to me. I don't even register it until I'm actually thinking about it, but I actually kind of like the idea of having the mini-me version right next to the big one. And to be fair, the Countess may move if I end up reworking this stuff, but I'm not positive that I will, so either way, it should work out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get working on installation. Alright, super quick and easy on that one. Not really much to record. I just threw the blades on while it was down on the floor and popped it up. So I'm gonna move on and get the Islander pulled down. And it seems like people are always asking for more spinners or industrials. People also want huggers. I'm still trying to figure out a way to make that work cohesively with everything else. One of these times I'll probably just have to do an entire section of huggers, but I'm gonna try to make more of the other two categories happen this year. So if you've been asking for industrials, I have worked one into my theme over here. Okay, so this one hangs low. I was going to change out the down rod, but then I figured if I just put it on ball socket, I could gain a few inches and that would probably be enough. I had the Islander hanging pretty low here and the Broadway has been here before, which also hangs quite low. It's over the table, not in a main walking area, so I can usually get away with a lower hanging fan in this spot. Out of curiosity, let's try it on this existing Islander control and see what it does. Oh, that actually shows promise. I may not have to swap that out. I'm going to let it spin up a little bit here and we'll see what it looks like. All right, it's been a few minutes. I did some cleanup with the Islander and a little prep work with removing this light kit. But this is a pretty acceptable low speed, so I'm not going to be in any rush to change out that wall control. I may want to play with something else down the line, but for now this will work. I've just had it on low so far, so I'm kind of curious to see what medium will be like. Looks like medium could maybe have a little bit more behind it, but honestly not too bad. And just for fun, I will do high.
Looks like I could do a little bit of balancing as well. Also not the worst. All right, I am maybe gonna do a little bit more disassembly here and see where I get in the next little bit. So I think I'll just do a little bit and then I will check back in. Okay, I have prioritized this location so that I can get some lights back on in this area because it is a little bit dark. As you can see, I'm doing my Homestead Vogue fan. I feel like the styling of this one is a nice transition from the 90s back into the 80s as I move this direction. And I just have not had this one out for a while. It's been on my remake list for a very long time, so when it comes down from here, I will definitely do that. And then I do have a little bit of an upgrade for it. I recently picked up this new old stock Homestead Light Kit. It is just a basic integrated four light fitter, but I have a number of Homestead fans with polished brass that I thought this would be a nice addition for. I think a genuine light kit always pulls the look together a little bit better, and honestly this fan switch cap is the least appealing part of it. Unless I put on like a single light fitter, you can always see these scratches around any light kit that I do put on, so I'm excited because this light that goes in its place is really going to upgrade the look. So I think I'm going to finish getting this all assembled, and then I will probably be back for the last check-in of the night. All right, I am all done here. I think this light kit and glass take it to a completely different level. For now, I am out of time, so I'm going to head out. I think I'm going to try to start editing this video to see where I'm at for time. So I will see you back soon for more, or if nothing else, to close out. Hello, checking in from the condo again, mainly just to close out. I have been editing and see that I have quite an abundance of footage, so I will wrap this one up and on to the next. But it also works out because I've just been doing some little stuff around here today, including editing. But I can show you I've started changing out my devices here. I still need to go get dimmers and a few more single gang switch plates for the outlets. These are ground fault protected at the breaker, which is not really my preference for convenience, but it is nice because it allows me to go with the cleaner look of a standard receptacle, so not entirely mad about that. And then over on this front, not that it looks any different, but we did get the additional support installed, so we're pretty secure across the board. So this is at least functional to use. I did go and peek at the seating that I was looking at for here. They have gone in and out of stock a few times over the past several months, and they are currently out of stock on back order again. So it might be a little bit more time than I had bargained for before I can get those in, but I'm still excited to have at least this portion done. So with that, I will go ahead and close this out. Thank you all for watching. Remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell to get updates for all of my new videos, and I will see you next time.